Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Honest Gallery. Uh, we're going to start a, a new piece here. This is going to be another in the series uh, of Art for AI. And uh, what we have here is I've got a piece of uh, melamine scrap that I had laying around. Um, this is stuff that you may uh, find, uh, you know, some cabinetry, shelving unit, stuff like that that's made out of uh, particle board uh, with melamine on it. And uh, I'm going to use this because it's a smooth surface. I can reuse it. Uh, I can hot glue it, pull it off, uh, and get quite a few uses out of it before it starts to uh, give me any headaches. Um, but this is going to be one of those pieces where I'm going to take an 8x10 canvas. I've got the inside line marked out 8x10. And then uh, the perimeter is going to be 85 by 10 and a half, And that will give me um, a good quarter inch of uh, cement around uh, the perimeter to encapsulate the canvas. And uh, so uh, we've got the hot glue gun going and um, I'm going to show you how I get this perimeter set up here. All right, we're all set. Uh, we've got the framework in place. I will uh, run a thin bead of silicone on the inside to help keep uh, anything that gets poured inside inside and keep it from leaking. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, some balsa wood sticks and a piece of half inch PVC as my form uh, to create the voids for the epoxy and uh, what I'll be pouring the cement around. So I'll get the canvas in place uh, get these pieces cut, uh, hot glue them together, and get them tacked onto the canvas so that once I, uh, I pour the cement, everything will be locked into place.
All right, so we've got all the forms glued into place. And uh, there was a little bit of an element change. I wanted to have a focal point here. And uh, I just think the piece looks a lot better this way. Um, so now we're ready to pour the cement. I'm using a Portland cement. That would be the bag at the hardware store that does not have all the gravel rocks in it. Um, when I'm mixing it, I do pour uh, the Portland cement into a bucket and then I just use like a hammer or something to uh, pulverize it and make sure I get any kind of uh, uh, chunks or anything broken up. I want to make sure it's as fine as possible and then I mix it up uh, fairly runny. You'll see the consistency of it when I start pouring it here. Um, but we're going to pour this into the mold here and then uh, we're going to uh, let it sit for a couple days until uh, it's completely dry and uh, I want it to be fully cured before I start trying to uh, pull the form out of it. But uh, alright, let's get started on uh, pouring the cement. There we have the uh, cement poured, and I will come back in and keep an eye on this as the water evaporates to make sure it doesn't need to be. Uh, like I don't want any obvious handprints, that kind of thing. Um, but and I added some water in here to help this thing keep its shape because it's just a plastic cup, and I was afraid the cement might start pushing in on it, may deform it. So I poured some water in there to kind of help give it some uh, uh, pressure pushing outward to help keep it shape. Um, but all right, with well that ends this video. Uh, the next video will be uh, removing it from the form and getting a base coat on this and uh, progressing to the next stage and trying to get this thing sealed up to where we can get to uh, pouring some epoxy. All right, y'all have a good one. Take care and uh, be nice to one another. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my videos, and uh, despite having the looks and charm of Ryan Reynolds, I still need your help. If you could hit the like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. You can also find my work on Etsy, uh, just look up the Ox Gallery, uh, link will be right here, and actually it won't be because I haven't figured all that out yet, but in the future I'll figure all that out and get like a link here, but you can go to Etsy and look up the Ox Gallery. And uh, eventually I'll have it all figured out. But the subscribe button should be right here. And hopefully it's not right on the face, which it probably is. But please subscribe, please like, and uh, please be patient. And I'll have better videos coming soon uh, as I figure all this out. Thank you much.